I have to smile because I love doing this. Uh, my videographer, he's getting his doctorate in chemical engineering. He's a genius, and he helps me with this. And I'll tell you what, it's wonderful. His name is Dr. Mohammed Fregon. He's my hero, and he's so good at that. And I love doing these sonnets. And I'm talking to you guys out there that are citizens, Citizens United. I belong to that group. It's a great group. Citizens United. We ought to be united. And I'm talking to the veterans out there. One of my very best friends, he was an Army Ranger in 44 months in, in, in combat in Vietnam in the jungle in the dark. I'm talking to you guys. You guys are the leaders. You're the ones that volunteer. Millions of you. You're out there. We need your help. We need your help. And I'm telling you, I want to read this letter to you. It's a good letter. Why? It's a guy, they're going to lynch him. They're going to they're gonna hang him until he's dead. And they give him a chance to write a letter to his wife. And it's read by Henry Fonda. And it's a great, great book. The Oxbow Incident, an even better movie. And I got to give the credit to uh, Walter Van Tilburg Clark. He wrote it. But this letter, this guy is named Donald. And he's writing to his wife. And they're going to hang him. And he can't get out of it. And he's got little kids and a wife. And, and what are they going to do without him? And he's writing, my dear wife, Mr. Davies will tell you what is happening here tonight. He is a good man and has done everything he can for me. I suppose... There are some other good men here, too, maybe. Only they don't seem to realize what they're doing. They're going to lynch me. They are the ones I feel sorry for, because it'll be over for me in a little while. But they will have to go on remembering what they did for the rest of their lives. A man just naturally can't take the law into his own hands and hang people without hurting everybody in the world. Because then, he's just not breaking one law, but he's breaking all laws. Law is a lot more than words you put in a book, or judges, or lawyers, or sheriffs you hire to carry it out. It is everything people have found out about justice, and what is right, and what is wrong. It's the very conscience of humanity. There can't be any such thing as civilization unless people have a conscience. Because if people touch God anywhere, where is it except through their consciences? And what is anybody's conscience except a little piece of the conscience of all men and all women who ever lived? I guess that's all I got to say, except kiss the babies for me, and God bless you, your husband, Donald. Right after that, they hung him and two other guys, and they were innocent. They didn't do it, and they begged, and they said, please, please, we didn't do it. At least at least give, get us a trial. And, and the guy they were supposed to have killed, they didn't, he wasn't even dead. And the sheriff, he got all of them. He got all of them. And it's just awful that they would lynch somebody. Well, that's what it is. When the law is the mob. And we can't have the law as a mob. And I'm talking to you veterans out there. You citizens. United. You men. You women. Strong leaders. We need you now. And I wrote this sonnet. Number 1267. They want to leave us naked. Facing our enemies. We have enemies. America does. Lots of enemies. Such is the human condition. See human rabbits, human sheep, cowards, weaklings. They're cowering. They hide and run away. We're faced right now with lunatic domestic terrorists. Global hatred. Worrisome times. Tension. Pressure. Anxiety. Stress. Agitation. The television is full of liars. Everybody lies, but I guess it's all right because nobody ever listens. On TV, the visions of these, they want self-obsessed utopias. Everything's free, deluded lunacy. 
It's a grisly disease thinking everything is going to be for free. They're obsessed. They're drunk with power, these people. Power, more power, more money. They want command. They're possessed by the Church of Satan. There's even a Church of Satan here in Metropolitan Phoenix. Saul Alinsky's evil plan. Saul Alinsky, look him up on the internet. He's a devil worshiper. That was Hillary Clinton's mentor at Wellesley. What kind of fellow human being wants to be king of the world? Well, I think there's a lot of people. There's a band called Tears for Fears, and they had a song, Everybody Wants to Be a King of the World, Wants to Rule the World. Who are they? That's their ambition to rule the world. They are legion. Millions of them. What they're saying is, look at me, look at me, see me, pay attention to me before I lose control. Cooking up plots, bloodthirsty revenge, raw wickedness, and raw evil. Violent maniacs are everywhere right now. You get on your, your computer and you look up registered sex offenders just in your neighborhood. It'll shock you. That's just the sex offenders they know about. Don't you have wives and sisters and mothers and daughters? We got to help each other. We're citizens. It's time for citizen militias and posse comitatus if we have to. Violent maniacs everywhere. We got to quit tap dancing. Enforce the law. There's nothing wrong with the law. The mayor's out there. You've got to enforce the law, and you're not enforcing the law, and that's cowardice. That's treason. You're hurting America. You must be Democrats. The lunatics, the crazy people, they just crack up. They go crazy. I don't want to know why. I want them off the streets. I want them punished. You don't punish 333 million people for a bunch of wackos. You take care of the wackos. They can't handle liberty. They can't handle freedom. Well, you citizens can. You veterans can. I demand swift justice when those people do those things. 333 million people doing a little tap dance because of a bunch of crazies. We got to take care of the crazies. Don't punish everybody. Anyone peddling fake news of such tragedies on the news, all you see, they're guilty accomplices. They're accomplices to violence. Hollywood, they're complicit with mayhem on their movies, bloodlust, the Church of Satan. Evil exists. Now, Marxists, communists, socialists, progressives, they want rights abridged. They want gun rights taken away. They want gun rights abrogated. Devils who want us disarmed and naked, helpless and defenseless. Hey, when somebody is going to murder you or rape you, the police are going to get there after the fact. you got to defend yourself. You have to defend yourself. They want to leave us helpless and defenseless. George Washington himself, the president, he said, a free people ought to be well armed. You can trust free people. They're not going to break the law. He knew, George Washington knew, how dangerous the world was. Outlaws, hostiles, criminals. America wouldn't be free if we were not armed, Minutemen, militia, citizens. The citizens out there, yeah, we're armed to the teeth. We have better get, hey, you're going to need your guns. You can't get out of it. And you say, uh, I'm, I'm nonviolent. I, I, I read this, I can't even believe it. Dementia. Dementia dominates our media. They're crazy. They're blind. Negligent, utterly biased. All they see is bad things, bad things. Television talking double tongues. You think these people are so smart? They're reading a script that they didn't even write. And they think there's this hot stuff reading scripts, using teleprompters, using idiot cards. They have perverted motives. They're paid. They're paid. They'll do anything for a check, anything for money. Suborning murder. I mean, misprision of felony. Telling, Glorifying these people that do these things. Oh, crazy people see it. They want to do it. They're responsible too. The TV, the movies, it's on their head. Ted Bundy. He said all this stuff, this sex stuff, it's because of the pornography. Yeah, maybe it is. But look at, they even have child pornography. People have lost their minds. And honest citizens, 
men and women, strong people got to stand up to this. I mean, these, these crazy people, they're inciting riots, making threats, encouraging lawlessness to be rampant. I want the law enforced. They're disturbing the peace, wearing masks, they can't do that, breaking windows, attacking people. They want to steal all the money is what they want, fomenting ugly violence. Americans will need their guns. How can you be safe at home? You're not safe. The North Koreans don't like us. They despise America. The Russians don't like us. The Chinese don't like us. The Sharia law, they sure don't like us. You're going to stand there with just your dick in your hand, right? You're going to say, oh, oh, please, please. You're going to stand there while your family is murdered and raped. Without an armed citizenry, our American Republic is dead. If my enemy has an AK-47, I want an AK-47. I want to defend fire with fire. And I'm telling you, we have to be ready. We're going to need our guns. And I'm going to repeat my last sentence here. The Second Amendment shall not be infringed. What does that mean, infringed? It means it shall not be abrogated. Period. It shall not be infringed. And you're out there, you citizens, you veterans, especially you veterans. <clears throat> Millions of you volunteered. It takes a lot of courage to do that. Volunteer for your country. Well, your country needs you now. You're warriors. You've been through it. I mean, my friend Stan Blunt, my hero, he was an army ranger, a paratrooper, first in his class, all kinds of medals, seven bronze stars, silver stars, the Legion of the Distinguished Service Cross right below the Medal of Honor. I'm talking to you guys out there. You guys are strong. Your SEALs, your Green Berets, your Rangers, your, 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 your pilots, your, your computer wise, I need you now. Your veterans, I need your help. Why? Because this republic right now, we have to have togetherness. And I'm a Republican, I admit it, I'm a radical Republican, just like Sherman and Sheridan and Lincoln and Grant. They're the ones that freed the slaves, and we gotta free the slaves now. Pay people for their talents. Capitalism, and I need your help. I'm begging for your help. I'm beseeching you. I'm please. They're leaving us naked facing our enemies, and you can't. The Second Amendment, they knew, Washington knew, our founding fathers knew that you have to defend your home. And you have that right. We're the only country in the world that's like that. And that's why we're free. You think we'd be free if we weren't armed? Hey, you're a long way away. It's like a college, it's like a high school faculty meeting. I love all of you. If you can't handle that, I'm sorry. I love you because you're, you're an American patriot. God bless us, everyone. Ja'Allah. 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 Au revoir, mon ami.